on the spot. See, here we are here with uh, Randy Blake, uh, the general manager here for the Espanola Rivermen. Now, that was a lovely play by the, uh, by the illustrious Tim Clayton, who we had tried to get on camera as he walked by, but then he it was an assist. He passed it on to you. Here you go for the goal. How are you doing, Randy? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, not a bad game so far. A little rough, but uh, we're tied up, so hopefully we'll pull ahead in the third. So you, uh, you're you originally from the North Bay area, am I correct? Correct, yes. I live in North Bay. So live in North Bay, uh, originally with the North Bay Trappers, and then came here with uh, with Espanola as Espanola's new franchise here uh, uh, started up this year. What, what do you think of the community and how it's opened its hearts and its uh, its homes, I guess, to, to, the, uh, to the players and management here from Espanola? Uh, the community's been amazing. Uh, all the help from the from the rink staff and uh, the fans have uh, packed the stands every game. What, what, what more could we ask for? Now, I was unfortunately not here on Friday when you had your teddy bear night. How did that night work out? Uh, it went pretty good, other than the, the mesh on the other side is a little high, so we had some trouble getting the, the, the bears over the mesh. But uh, for the most part, they made it on the ice. Do you have a number of how many were donated to the Lions Club? I do not yet. But it was a good turnout, certainly great it was a great turnout now this this is not the only charitable thing that the rivermen have done uh, you also had the uh, pink on the uh, pink in the rink uh, a few months uh, a month ago or so uh, what was that uh, that that whole uh, campaign about um, just to support breast cancer um, we wanted to, to donate as much as we could to uh, the breast cancer uh, awareness uh, just to help out in the community and hopefully keep the money here in Espanola at the hospital here now, I'm still wearing my Movember mustache. It's, uh, it's kind of a permanent thing for me. I know the team uh, also participated as well. How many uh, mustaches were there, and do you have a favorite of the mustaches grown by the Espanola Rivermen? Uh, I can't say I have a favorite, but uh, the whole team was included. Every, every one of them grew something, whether it was a mustache, a goatee, or uh, some sideburns. Uh, they did everything. So uh, I, I don't know if there, uh, if there was anything raised from that, but... Uh, they definitely all contributed and uh, did it. Even just spreading the awareness. I know at Espanola High School, we had a female teacher who decided she wouldn't shave her legs or her armpits. And I think that's in this week's newspaper. Uh, I'm not. Did anyone go that far with, uh, with uh, the Rivermen? No, definitely not. No one went that far. <laughs> So uh, we, we are uh, we're around uh, we're, we're past the halfway mark for this season. Uh, what do you think? What do you think the Rivermen will, will need to pull out to uh, to go from the third uh, third place current uh, to, to to something even better? I just think we need to be a little more consistent uh, and uh, play for a full sixty minutes. And if we can uh, play for a full sixty minutes, I think we have a good shot to catch uh, Kirkland Lake or the Sioux. And, and you've got some incredible players who are uh, pretty much Espanola is one of the teams that dominates the leaders board, uh, whereas other players not so much. Uh, do you do you see any 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 changes in the roster? I know you've lost a couple players uh, this this week to trades. Are there any upcoming uh, upcoming news, or are we is this pretty much the roster we're going to be working with? Um, there may be a a, l a little more um, on the go right now, but. Uh, Nothing that I can comment on at this moment. Nothing for the media. But we thank you very much, Randy. On behalf of SpartanYouthRadio.com, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we wish you and the Rivermen the best of luck. Any last words to our viewers? Go, Rivermen, go. Go, Rivermen, go. Thank you very much. And that was Randy Blake, the general manager for the Espanola Rivermen. He was formerly with the uh, North Bay Trappers from my hometown of North Bay, Ontario. We will be back in 11 minutes uh, with further action here, NOJHL action here in Espanola. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.